opportunities for group exercise. And I'll be your host, Rhys James, um, former and education specialist from Techno Gym. Um, so thank you, Fitness Australia, for this amazing opportunity for us to present our Club 4.0 concept and how it relates to group exercise. And also for you as trainers, as well as business owners, potentially, we want to try and understand how you can use some of our concepts into your own practice. Now, how this will work, we'll try and save some questions for the end, but please feel free to type them in the question box. And like I said, I'm extremely excited to bring our Club 4.0 concept from Techno Gym to this webinar to Fitless Australia's members and associates. So yeah, my name's Rhys and I represent Techno Gym as the format and education specialist. The webinar will be worth one CEC point as well. So it's really, really great to have that recognition. And alongside Techno Gym and Fitness Australia's partnership, we also have additional educational courses for you guys to enhance your CEC uh, portfolio. So feel free using that email there to contact me after this webinar if you're interested in that, or also find them on your Fitness Australia portal as well. So today we'll also, so for you listeners, we'll also receive a special discount for our educational courses and we'll await questions at the end, like I said at the start. So if we're all ready to go, then we may as well begin. So first of all, we're gonna talk bit about Technogym and over today we'll cover the what, the why and the how behind the Technogym fourth revolution club which is club 4.0 and club 4.0 was designed as a concept to fit a specific gap in the market through the increased demand for experience within fitness or I like to say fit experience, fit experience as such and the ultimate aim of this concept is to capture each and every member's or clients um, engagement through enhancing variety and experience through three different components which you you can definitely take and relate to your own practice as well so first of all what is techno gym now techno gym um, was developed in italy in cesena and i've had the opportunity to work over there and it was an amazing experience but one shocking statistic is that today over 2 billion people are actually overweight and lead sedentary lifestyles, causing all sorts of issues. And with a vision to get the world moving, Nerio Alessandri, our president um, in 1983, founded Technogym in this very, very own garage um, to start spreading that wellness lifestyle. So you can see here the image of our first ever product, which was the hack squat. And actually now we've gone full circle because we've just released a new, a new hack squat as well. But as you can see here, through the combination of positive mental attitude, nutrition and physical activity, Technogym has now reached over 50 million users and people using and spreading that wellness lifestyle. We have supplied the last eight editions of the Olympic Games as well. So we've got that sporting heritage. So a lot of our products are based upon this athletic principle and athletic methods to enable you guys as trainers to apply your own athletic methods as well to that to our concept and today specific to our discussion you'll see a variety of different fitness experiences that we offer and we'll talk about different methods that you can also use and here you can see our ultimate method of what technogym is all about physical activity nutrition and a positive mental attitude all integrated into this one pyramid ultimately aiming to enhance energy efficiency live longer and improve mental physical and social well-being brilliant now through this combination and this innovation partnership we've got with fitness australia our aim is to support you guys through these six key pillars so whether it's education through on-site or online webinars Innovation as well, sharing the latest and greatest trends, sharing research, and I'll touch on one of the research pieces we've done with ECU. The Let's Move for a Better World campaign, which will launch as a, an initiative to enhance people's movement um, and activity levels, and also marketing as well to support you guys out in the field. 
So first of all, I'm going to play a video. So apologies if that was quite loud. Just check your volume. I'm going to play this video. Hopefully it plays back OK. If not, I'll share the video at the end. A bit of a video to set the scene on what we're going to talk about today in our Club 4.0 concept. So I hope that video got you all in the mood for what we're going to talk about today. But first of all, I'd like you to consider what your member base is or who your clients are, because this concept can be applied to almost anyone. And ultimately, at the center of everything we do is your clients or your members. So we're going to talk about that as well. So another video here for you, just to understand the variety of who we might engage with across the segment and across the industry. So most of the time we engage and interact with all kinds of members, all kinds of clients. And essentially through our education process, we always want to relate to members first, creating that end user experience with everything we do. So that's a question to you. Who do you engage with? Now, one of our master trainers and national educators, Todd Brody, talks about this hybrid coach. We can apply this to anything, to any concept, whether it's in the fitness industry or outside, whether you're a teacher, whether you're a CEO, being able to adapt your personality to different situations is essential. I always say and use the term that the classic saying of treat others how you would like to be treated isn't actually correct. It should be treat others how they would like to be treated because that, that initiates the process of being able to adapt and understand and details of who you're working with and getting to know them. So being able to adapt along this so-called continuum is essential. Whether you're on the coach side of things, being able to give real clear technical knowledge for a member, for example, if they're doing a squat, knowing what angle their knee and hip joint should be in relation to each other, However, on the other side of things, if you're dealing in group fitness, you also have to be able to adapt to deliver that experience and engage everyone in front of you. So different types of classes, different types of experience require different skill sets. However, we really do encourage through our education platform, being able to adapt on the fly, almost like a chameleon. So knowing your audience and knowing what type of language to use. So we're not just set in one step, one block here, not either side of this continuum. We always try and enforce the adaptability of our coaches and trainers. So this hybrid coach is a really nice philosophy that we can consider throughout this webinar for the different concepts we have. So why? Why have we introduced Club 4.0? So we're going to talk, touch on some of the key USPs of what Club 4.0, our fourth generation fourth revolution club. First of all, community. So community is essential and new members or clients really do care about this community feel because it comes from the identity of the solution. The success of a format as we call them, so our class experiences, 
comes from the way in which members or clients relate to that experience. And this is the drive by which we drive a group of people which are created. So team cohesion is a imperative and important psychological term used in sport. And the same applies to group fitness. So can we create this team cohesion, whether you're working with an individual or in small group training? This is essential. Next up, you've got your connection. So people want to feel connected and not just connected in the community, but also digitally. And as we saw in that video, Generation Z or millennials, for example, are the pioneers of digital fitness, or digital, essentially, as we're calling it nowadays. And our Technogym My Wellness solution, whether it's custom to your own facility, allows you to keep this connection inside and outside of the gym, in or out of fitness classes, or on the go or at home, like I said. So having some sort of digital connection through whether it's My Wellness or another platform is essential. And finally, experience. So people now want an experience. And there's, there's lots of research into this in relation to generations and how generation um, Z versus millennials differ in experience. But we can and have seen lots of um, need for experience within group fitness nowadays. And ultimately, people want to feel and achieve a sense of completeness. And this isn't only for singular products but now how you can combine elements to create that full engaging experience. So creativity is a term and creativity isn't making something from scratch, essentially. It's most of the time combining two ideas together to achieve something new. And innovation spans from that. So if anyone knows the story of James Dyson, then you can reference how he built Dyson, essentially, from combining two ideas. And the same kind of philosophy can be applied within your facility or with your clients right now. So where is the industry going? And Club 4.0 is where we envision the fitness industry ending up or evolving into. And typically members enter what I call an empty, busy gym with lots of equipment, but no true feeling or identity to allow people to leverage on. So no true experiences, no true community and no true connection within that facility or group fitness scenario. And over the last few years, there's been an increase in fitness boutique market. So being able to deliver fantastic communities, fantastic experiences and connectivity in one solution. And they can achieve this with many, uh, with only one solution because they normally offer just one solution so they can get it right, essentially. And this is executed often very well. Here are some examples of the traditional ones that you can find across the globe. And it's safe to say each of these have a real true identity behind what they do. They do it really well. So why can't we bring this experience they offer into clubs and into your own method? An interesting statistic is that 90% of members who actually attend these boutique facilities also have a membership elsewhere in more traditional gym. So this could suggest two things, either that their club isn't providing them with the experience or the demand they need, or this boutique facility doesn't offer the variety that they need like a traditional club does. So that's one thing to think about. Is there a way in which we can apply both uh, engagement and variety into traditional fitness clubs. So what is Club 4.0? Technogym now has evolved and has initiated this Club 4.0 concept with almost like a modular offering to allow trainers and allow operators to kind of customize their experience to what member base they have. And again, it comes down to your members, what they want, what they need, what your demographic is. So Technogym has moved from product to this format offering. So instead of just talking about products, we're now talking about these six key pillars. And from the experience I had working in HQ in Italy, in Technogym HQ, Everything we do starts with a method. 
starts with the science behind that product. For example, here, the skill line, the classes have been developed on the athletic performance training method, which considers building, improving and competing stages to like a journey. This method then enables us to create the smart equipment to train across all of these athletic pillars. In combination, then you can say digital allows you to apply that method on, on a big screen, whether it's heart rate training, whether it's cycling races through our skill bike format. Digital is now essential in fitness. Education as well, as I touched on, being the, um, the partner with Fitness Australia and all of our CEC courses, a format or an experience won't work unless we get the buy-in and the understanding from the trainers who use it. So we really do um, understand the need for good education. And of course, the look and feel and also the marketing with the sellout materials, which are essential to create that initial interaction through whether it be social media or elsewhere. And here's like an example of how potentially, I know this is quite large, but how a facility could look, but not necessarily, because this is a mix and match approach. Whether it's in individual zones within the facility or all open on the gym floor, this new Club 4.0 shop and shop approach, approach is where we see the fitness market going. So having dedicated zones, which enables your facility to come to life because each zone has its own identity to create, like we said, the community connection and that experience for the different members. So remember that hybrid coach we spoke about, being able to adapt to yourself, whether you're delivering a more technical class in the skill X format on the left, or whether you're delivering a more engaging, high energy experience with the skill meal hit forward uh, format in the top right. So before we jump into some questions, we're almost halfway in. This is essentially where we envision ourselves sitting. And like I said, boutique, they may have great engagement. However, because they only offer one experience, they lack variety. Whereas a traditional club may have great variety because they offer various different experiences, but maybe the engagement isn't there because they haven't got that immersiveness of the uh, area. So this is where Technogym Club 4.0 sits, trying to enhance engagement and variety to ultimately transform the gym floor from a general center of cost to a center of value. Fantastic. So I think we can jump into some questions in there. Let me just check if we've got any questions in the Q&A. If not, then that's all good. Feel free to save them to the end. I'll give yourselves a couple of seconds if you've got any questions at all. If not, we'll save them to the end. Okay, so what we'll do, we're gonna to touch on the how behind Club 4.0. So we've covered the what, we've covered the why, now we're gonna cover the how. And ultimately it's how you guys as coaches can take what we've done, the methodologies behind our programming. And even if you wanna use them for yourselves, that's completely fine. You've got my email, I'll share it again at the end um, to get ideas of how you guys can use some of our methodology within your own coaching. Hi, Reese. I'm just going to jump in really quickly just because we've gotten a couple of questions. Okay, amazing. Uh, so I can read them out to you or? Yeah, that'd be great. If you could. Yeah. So Tony asks, what square meter area are you basing it on? So that, that image that we showed, um, that's just a concept, but each format essentially has a guidance on the squares per meter needed to deliver it. So each format might vary between each, each individual one. That was just the concept, but essentially you would need quite a large space to cover everything we had there, which I haven't got at the moment, but I, I can share that off the back of the call because it's format specific. Perfect. We also have another question. How about specialized studios? Perfect. That's, that's exactly where we see ourselves fitting into. 
Um, one of our other concepts called Skill Athletic is a boutique model, which we envision pushing out into specialist studios. However, we have got multiple facilities, which I'll show in this next segment across Australia now at the moment, um, driving our Club 4.0 formats. So we've got running facilities, we've got cycling, we've got rowing, whether they're, you know, uh, ver vertical, just rowing only, or whether they combine it with strength equipment as well. And through our TeamBeat software, our digital software, they can apply their own method or they can use our programming. So 100%, that would be a great solution. Perfect. And we've got two more questions come in. One from Brad. Are we going to be able to see this webinar again? I can answer that. Yes, you will. We'll be posting it online. Fitness Australia will be. Um, and we have another question. Can we have this PowerPoint outline after the session? I can save it as a PDF and share it across. Yep. Perfect. That's all our questions so far. Amazing. Right then. So our approach. So different formats. We've got different methodologies of training. So first of all, we'll touch on BioCircuit, our latest and greatest automated circuit solution. The new group cycle we've offered, so and we've enhanced the engagement and the, the virtual um, live stream, well, virtual on-demand classes as well. Then we'll touch on our athletic kind of skill line formats, also the skill line high intensity formats, and we'll finish off with some functional formats in there as well. Brilliant. So first of all, there's going to be some videos in here. I think I've taken the volume out deliberately, but we'll see. So BioCircuit. Essentially, BioCircuit is designed for those with a tight schedule, um, those who want an easy workout, which enables them to transition between stations in a circuit format or freely use individual machines as and how they want. So I'll explain that in a minute. But essentially, I'll talk over the video. You can see here is our bio circuit clock format. It's fully automated, users log in. They follow a, com a complete personal program to them with visual guidance on their range of motion, um, uh, tension as well. So the tension time because of that profile to follow. And also each of these will conduct a movement test on each machine before they start and also a strength test through isokinetic now it did pause there deliberately it's only a short video so how would it work underneath and behind the machines the science behind it is this what we call the bio drive so this is really cool and for you trainers who are super interested in different types of strength training this engine essentially within the machines was designed in line with what NASA use. And it uses um, and enables different replication of different resistance modalities. And it's adaptable. So throughout the range of motion, depending on what program the user is assigned to, it will represent or replicate a different type of resistance. And there's up to seven different types. So you've got eccentric overload, so if someone's goal is to improve strength or muscle tone, they'll be on the tone your body program, which replicates an eccentric overload. So as they push up, it will increase the load on the eccentric phase of the movement. And as you know, that'll improve your strength and muscle tone. Whereas another one is eccentric deload. So actually taking the eccentric down. And as we know, eccentric deload helps to limit DOMS and muscle soreness the days after. So this is great for a member who is maybe new and needs to create a habit to start exercising. By reducing the eccentric, it limits their DOMS so they can come back and start to create that positive um, habit of exercise. Another modality is what we call viscous resistance. So imagine you're underwater and you punch if you punch slowly, it's easy. Yeah. If you punch really hard, it gets harder. So the engine will replicate that. And this is great for power training. So this is on the performance, the boost performance program, all about enhancing power. Other ones, the no inertia or almost elastic resistance as well is within the stay young program. 
So this is great because this enables people to get out of their vulnerable joint position. So say a shoulder press, it enables them to get out of that position to fully extend their arm up. This is great um, for potentially elderly users because it allows them to safely train within their vulnerable joints. Other features, it's got inbuilt spotter as well. So if it knows that you're struggling on a rep, it will drop the load to help you finish the rep. And also, the, dependent on what resistance you're in, um, the lose, your, lose weight program will ask you to perform quicker reps to ultimately burn more calories within that set time on the machine. More information we can go into another time. But like I said, here are the five programs that are assigned. Different programs have different goals and different resistance types. With the new BioCircuit now, you can also create your own. So whether you wanted to, say, develop leg strength, you can make all the leg machines have an eccentric overload. Whereas your upper body, say you were a boxer and you needed it to be quick, you can change the tempo time. So you're actually pushing a lot quicker and with more power as well. Examples of how the visuals look on the screen. Um, and how you can apply it. So you can see it's a bit of a gamer, uh, gamification as well to try and catch the yellow beads, essentially. And on the right, you've got your viscous, so you're underwater. And with the Boost Performance Program, it's all about power. So this is quite good for you guys as trainers to understand and even apply to your own training, whether it's on BioCircuit or not. What is the type of resistance I'm using relative to what the end user I'm working with's goal is? Example, GSAC in Melbourne. These guys have our BioCircuit strength solution. They've now also got the floor in, so this is an older image. Um, and we've also done some work with ECU, so Edith Cowan University over in WA. So these guys are using BioCircuit for some of their market research, uh, sorry, it's not market research, some of their um, exercise science research into prostate cancer and how eccentric training will impact prostate cancer. So the work the guys are doing over there is fantastic. Um, Professor Rob Newton is heading up the department over there and he's done some great things over there. So that could be worth checking out and we can provide more information on that. And actually we have released an article through Fitness Australia in their, on their website for you to check out. So 100% of people enjoyed using BioCircuit. We can see here that of the people who have used it, People feel stronger, they feel more positive, happy, um, and they say that BioCircuit allows them to reach more goals. So all this data is provided in that um, article, so we won't dive into that in too much detail. Two experiences there, BioCircuit free or BioCircuit clock. So the clock one is a circuit, you go from one to the next, free, is you can use any machine whenever you want, okay? You, with BioCircuit Free, you won't need a trainer because it's all done on the machines. However, BioCircuit Clock on the left, you'll only need the trainer when you're doing your setup. So this is a great solution, automated um, for people with low time availability or want to have a more specific program in a circuit in a safe, effective solution. Brilliant. Right, group cycle. So these are our new group cycle format. Really enhanced visuals and digital um, programming as well is all provided with music. And also now we've got the virtual on-demand sessions. And the great solution about this is you guys as cycle instructors, if you, if you are, can program into the screen and have profiles on the screen for your, for your customers or your members or your clients to follow, even if you're a PT. So I'm going to play a video, so just check your mic or your volume, and hopefully it'll play okay. If not, I'll send it through.
fantastic. Okay, so you would have seen three different experiences there. Well, two in the video, but we've got three. The peak class. So this is that data-driven class, profile-led, and for cyclists or group fitness enthusiasts who love kind of tracking their data and seeing how they're doing, whether it's against themselves or against others. In terms of you guys as trainers, the people who we'd love to coach this peak experience, those with a cycling background, they love the technical talking, paced music in relation to a profile, which offers a more structured ride. So the experience there is for those people who really do like following something structured. However, the other experience we had was the free beats class. This is where we can now consider more that kind of cheerleader end of things on that spectrum, on that continuum that um, we talked about as the hybrid coach, as our educator Todd Brody always talks about. Um, more so because this is all about zoning out with the experience and having a fun, immersive cycling class. So maybe people who don't care about the data, they just love zoning out with great visuals, which will change color with the average group class performance as well. And also having those edu motivational rituals, we call them, displaying on the screen to prompt them to do different things. So in terms of the trainer, high energy, no technical talking, maybe more commercial music that people can relate to. And I'm sure you guys have all experienced both types of offerings, um, whether you're in that peak style class with a more coach led trainer, technical trainer, and also this more cheerleader engaging type of experience. And of course, we've also got the virtual offering because 80% of the time we found cycling studios aren't in use. So now we've got that virtual class as well, which even if your clients, you needed them to do some cardio work when they're not working with you, at least you know they're following some sort of structured routine relative to a specific goal. Here's a good example. These will be our first club to use our new group cycle. They've got our older one, but they're going to be launched um, across Australia. Uh, the new cycle will be launched across Australia and these guys are going to be the ones starting and kicking us off with a new solution. So you can see with the lights, the different components there of the, the, um, the screen with the digital, obviously the lights here will beat in time with the music. So that creates engagement. They structure their classes in terms of the science, the pillars behind our format, our method to ultimately create engagement. Fantastic. So next up, moving on to my favorite, the skill line formats. So the skill line was and has been designed in line with our research into athletes and our work with the Olympic Games. And ultimately the method has pinned down four key pillars. So this is great that you guys can actually now use and apply to your functional or your athletics type of training you do with your clients as well. Four key pillars, which are made possible through the equipment as well. The pillars are power, agility, speed, and stamina. So essentially, athletes will train across those four pillars in general. Obviously, strength will fit under power, but essentially, those are the four key pillars we've identified and enabled the machines to use and replicate. So whether that's through skill run classes, skill row, or skill bike, Notably as well, while I talk through this, all of these courses are available with the CC points. You can see here skill run. The gradients are controlled automatically by the programming we provide or you create your own. All in time, everyone's will change. It's a real nice, simple solution for running. Example here, Run Athletic, Fit Lane Cove in Sydney. Next up, skill row, same kind of concept. This example here is from the engine room in London. These guys have kitted out an old church and all their rowers connect to the screen. They follow a profile and their bubbles pop up on the screen as well. They can also do races for that community element, but essentially providing that true immersive experience to you know, really engage and enhance retention for members. The next one, skill bike, 
so very similar concept to the skill row, however, via the modality of cycling. Whether you're racing, you can, you can train in like a peloton and replicate a gradient um, outside that you've, you've rode outside, or whether you're following a profile. Whizzing through this a bit. But essentially, those are vertical only. So within the situation we're at at the moment, these could be a great solution because they're only ever going to be on that product for the whole session. So there's no need for cleaning. There's no need for, you know, transitions. It's a great solution following off the back of what we've just had. Making running, rowing or cycling cool again is what I always say. Next up, the HIT formats. So the high intensity training formats. And now, as you know, HIT training has been within the top Fitness Australia kind of trends for many years now, thanks to its high output, low time, fast results. Now, using our skill line, the skill run, the skill mill, skill bike or skill row, because of the nature of the activity and the ability to train across the cardio and the power spectrum, because of the multi-drive technology within it, we can create the high intensity training offering. And it had essentially using this technology, we've done a lot of research on this, has been shown to improve muscle activation, which in turn improves performance and strength, but also on the flip side, burns more calories, so people will end up losing more weight if they had that training goal, of course. And they obviously followed that good diet as well. So our HIT solutions have three different experiences. Skill meal HIT. So skill meal HIT is super simple, effective, going from the skill meal to a plyo box to a floor-based exercise. So even within your training with your, your clients, this is great because you're transitioning quick, high output, high energy, real cool, um, real quick and easy exercises. Nice way to perform your metabolic conditioning type of training with your clients as well. So hopefully now you can start to see how the concept of our Club 4.0 formats can relate to your own training. Again, on the screen, you can see our digital as well with Team Beats, heart rate training, also videos you can push on there. Example here in Oz, undercard boxing, they've got a skill mill, almost skill mill hit kind of format. However, they've adapted it to include boxing as well. So the beauty of it is anything we have here provides almost an idea, and then you can even put your own philosophy into it. Skill run boot camp. I know we're covering a lot today, so appreciate your attention. Two exercises at any one time. You're working on the skill run, whether it's through the parachute or the sled mode, because the skill run isn't just the treadmill. You can also push and perform par parachute on it, combining that with floor based exercise. So real simple solution, but yet effective. So you can see here how intense it may get as well. We've got one good example here um, is our Concept G Studio in G Fitness Freshwater, how these have adapted the concept to include some landmine work and also TRX work or suspension training. And also we've got a lot of people interested in that as well because it's so simple, because it's so effective. Now finishing on my favorite, Skill X. So Skill X and also in line with our Skill Athletic as well, if you've already heard about that. Skill X is our in-club solution for complete, total athletic performance-driven training. Combines skill line, so skill mill, skill bike and skill row in one solution with also half rack and tools. Aiming to train across those four pillars within each class type. So you've got a power class, an agility-based class, a speed-based class, and a stamina-based class. Now, this method is based on the build and improve and competing. And for you guys as trainers, more often than not, there will be a kind of a functional zone within your gym. So how do you program on that? 
is the question I'll ask you to think about off the back of this. And do you need any support in creating your method and your own identity for that space, whether you're with one-to-one -one client or with a group fitness? We can support you on that because ultimately before you start doing any group fitness, you need to have a method and a true identity behind what you're doing. Otherwise it's not gonna take off. And finally, the other two, we'll just brush over functional training. So functional training is all about considering how a user wants to move, why they want to move that way, and their aspirational drives behind exercising. So this is a more friendly approach to training, essentially. Whether it's through kinesis, cable-based free movement, or omnia more traditional circuit type of training, variety, exercise, adaptation, progression, regression, a lot friendlier than potentially the skill X type of format. These all follow our move train play philosophy, which is a very interesting concept, which we're looking also to have that accredited through Fitness Australia. And this, like I said, helps to consider who the member is, how they want to train and why they want to achieve their goals. Brilliant. So I think I wanted to finish all of that, just saying obviously all the education and courses we can provide, but also if they were interested in supporting or having us support with your programming, we can provide years worth of programming with videos, with playbook and also pushing those, th those um, sessions through to a screen as well. All of that is there ready to go, which ultimately saves time, saves your energy as trainers, and also saves money because over time, um, time is money essentially. So if all of these are done for you, essentially, you're gonna save a lot of time. Fantastic. I know we covered a lot there in a short period of time, but I hope, you all found it beneficial as to where Technogym envision the fitness industry moving. And to summarize, it's all about that experience. It's all about creating an identity, being adaptable as a coach to understand who's in front of you, understanding their goals, their needs, and adapting across that spectrum from a cheerleader to a more technical coach. So, I think it's, we'll open the, the questions again. I can see we've got a few in there, so. Perfect. Um, so we've got a question from Janet who asks, how does BioCircuit work currently with COVID sharing of equipment? Okay, yeah, so after each, if you're talking about BioCircuit clock, which is the circuit-based training, you guys as operators have the opportunity to change the time in which you want to transition so if you wanted to increase the transition time to allow for cleaning in between, then you can. If not, the standard one is 35 seconds transition. So within that time, hopefully you can get enough cleaning done. Um, and also all the machines, the strength machines have this towel locking device to enable your towel to fit within the machine as well securely so it doesn't fall off. But yeah, you're free to essentially change the timings to suit your um, demands for cleaning. Perfect, we've got a question for Donna, from Donna, sorry. What type of cost are you looking at for this equipment? For BioCircuit or? Um, in, it doesn't, it doesn't yeah. uh, say. In terms of costs, um, we'll save that for a follow-up. So if you have any further interest, it's probably best to contact myself um, because Obviously, it's, it um, varies for different formats. And yeah, so we'll take the costs offline. So feel free to contact me off the back of this with the email. I'll, I'll put my email back up on the screen. Perfect. Um, Donna asks again, with the ride class, is it also connected for people via the internet so they can train at home? 100%. So with our My Wellness solution, we've got um, on demand potential as well with the facility can stream their own content live or create their on-demand um, library live um, in the app. But also we've also got a product 
for home called the Technogym Bike, which allows you to take part in live classes at home, on-demand classes at home as well. So yeah, home fitness now is huge. And we've recognized that over COVID, of course. So it's not about taking people away from the gym. It's extending that community to also encourage people to um, continue to engage with the facility and their content at home. And that's made available through My Wellness that we have our, our digital software. Perfect. Uh, we also um, have a request for the prostate cancer training research. If you could link that or. Yeah, sure. I think um, in that article we produced online, I believe there's reference to it in there. Um, there's also some of the initial papers done by Professor Rob Newton and his team online somewhere. But as I said, they're in the initial phases of that research. And when it's complete and finalized, um, I'm sure we'll be able to distribute that for, uh, through the Fitness Australia um, community. Perfect. We also have Richard. What would you say to those who feel the future of group training is outdoors as there's much less risk and investment required? Okay. I mean, yeah, like having the opportunity and the potential to take your business outdoors as well, um, because it's obviously distancing wise, um, is yeah, essentially going to be a great tool in your locker because you can still encourage your group and your members to train as a community, whether it's in or outdoors. And like I said, with my wellness, everything could be tracked. So whether you're in the facility or outside of it, you can still get your data. You can still follow our training methods outdoors, but apply it to a different piece of equipment. For example, our functional method follows the fundamental movements, being able to progress, progress through that move, train, play philosophy can still be applied across whether you're using a kettlebell or whether you're using, I don't know, parallettes, for example. You can still follow that philosophy in or outdoors. Essentially, though, if you can create that community, if you can deliver an experience, and if you connect your members or clients into one, whether that's indoors or outdoors, it doesn't matter. It's intangible. That identity is essential of your solution. A long-winded answer, sorry. Uh, we also have a question from Samantha. Can clients save or record a workout to show their PTs later? Yes, through the on-demand, you can pre-record routines and you can also um, create the sessions within the app as well. So they can, without having on-demand, essentially, they can find an exercise, have a program, sorry, and follow it step-by-step step with video support as well. Perfect. We also have one for a question from Mark. How does skill X differ from skill athletic? Essentially, the methodology is the same. However, skill X is for or within traditional clubs, whereas skill athletic is now within boutique fitness only. So the only thing in that studio is skill athletic. So skill X is within club. Skill athletic is within a boutique facility. And it also differs in relation to the branding as well, because Skill Athletic follows a particular licensing agreement that has to be abide by, whereas Skill X gives you a bit more freedom to apply your own philosophy through that format. Um, we've got a question from Aurora. Does this work with yoga and Pilates studios? At the moment, um, the only way in which Technogym can relate to yoga and Pilates is through our My Wellness solution, because obviously there you can push programs through relating to yoga and Pilates, whether that's you guys creating them yourself or through our on-demand streaming solution. But at the moment, Technogym are yet to design and make anything to do with reform of Pilates. I hope they do, but at the moment, not just yet. So the only way of doing that is through my wellness at the moment and the support through the digital app. I'm sorry if I pronounced this wrong. Um, what about the Kinesis wall? My favorite techno gym equipment. Kinesis, yep. So Kinesis is fantastic. We've got the programming available for that as well through Team Beats. 
Kinesis is amazing. And the story behind Kinesis is that our CEO and president, Nerio Alessandri, um, had the vision of creating this piece of equipment with fluid movement, enabling you to move freely. And essentially, Kinesis, you can do anything with Kinesis. With Kinesis and it's great to say that we can support on the programming in relation to that as well. Just a couple of um, questions have come up and they're asking, does, would this replace trainers? And I guess they would want to know your thoughts on that. Um, definitely not because everything we do, and like I said, the center of our education is always gonna be the trainer because if you don't get the trainer's buy-in, then it's not gonna work. Um, being able to, like I said, you're the center of attention as trainers, um, the screens, it's not a cinema. We always say when you're doing a group fitness class, it's not a cinema. People don't really look at the screen. They rather look at you unless you obviously prompt them to look at the screen. So the train is always going to be the center. Perfect. I think, I think we've got one more. Are the bikes supplied by Technogym for the on-demand um, on rides? Yes. Perfect, and I think that's all our questions we've got. Amazing. But no, thank you all for your time. Like I said, I'll, I'll reshare my screen so you can see my email um, if you need to jot that down again. Bear with me a sec. So yeah, here's my email address if you did want to get in touch um, and also, oh, also, be sure to try out and look at our um, educational courses online because we're looking to have them up and running for every everyday trainers as soon as, sorry, I'm just flicking through the presentation, um, as soon as our showroom is open. So please register your interest through Fitness Australia. There is a quick way to do this, but oh well. And yeah, get in touch with us there. I've gone the long way around to do this, but it's all good. Hang on, we're almost there. I could have done it quicker way. I've only just realized how big this presentation was. And we are almost there. Here we go. There we are. There's the email. So yeah, if that's everything, then thank you all for your time and thanks again for the opportunity from Fitness Australia to present here. Reese, we've just got another question come in. I'm so sorry. A That's all good. Um, a lot of people good. are looking for a mind body experience. Um, what about the breath work, stretching technique and other meditation techniques? Uh, yoga and Pilates are very popular. Yep, 100%. I couldn't agree more. I'm hoping we have a complete solution for that. But like I said at the moment, through our My Wellness software, we can still deliver that. Um, one of our digital software platforms is called Team Beats, which enables ultimately heart rate training videos on the screen as well. So using heart rate training in yoga and Pilates is going to be over time very effective because obviously you can see are people relaxing, are people overexerting themselves, which of course you try to limit with yoga. So at least it objectifies what you do. Um, but yeah, that's, that would be my answer. Perfect. And then there's, um, do you have any current locations in the Sunshine Coast? And are, is Technogym currently hiring for trainers? So in terms of the trainer thing, um, we've got a network of uh, educators, which work to basically train the trainers. We are discussing something relating to having a network of trainers as well to deliver at home training for our home customers. So once again, if you've got any interest in, please send across an email. Um, in terms of facilities in the Sunshine Coast, we've got plenty up in Queensland delivering some of our formats and using our My Wellness. So again, put that in the email as well and I can rattle off a list and send them across for you to visit. And even if you wanted to meet one of our educators to have a discussion, then we can arrange that. 
Perfect. There's no more questions from mine. Thank you so much for your time, Rhys. And thank you for everyone who attended this session. Yeah, thank you all. Thanks again for the opportunity.